Hey gorgeous souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos today. So this is my last video of 2022, woo! And we are going to wrap this year up beautifully. So if you have been watching my end of year series that I've been doing, you would have seen that I did an end of year review video. I did a winter solstice video and this is a third out of three videos to seal in that beautiful manifestation energy to bring you into 2023 with an abundant bang and to supercharge your manifestations this year. So so I really would highly recommend going back if you haven't watched those videos and doing those first so that you can have crystal clear clarity when going into this video and your new year's rituals. So even if you just do the winter solstice one or even if you just do the end of year review, definitely do one or both of them if you can. Um, obviously the winter solstice was on the 21st of December, but I would say even if you can just take some of those themes from that video and do the end of year review, you will be absolutely fine. But it's so important to do those first so that when we do this practice and this ritual, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, hell yes, I'm so ready for this and I have that clarity and focus moving forwards. Um, another thing that I would recommend which came out last week is my end of year manifesting meditation. So I would do that after this video or you could do it before, whatever you feel cool to do. I think doing both together would be a really lovely ritual. So do make sure to go check that video out. It's literally posted last week on my channel um, because then you can do those together and invite in that even more awesome energy and really seal that in with this beautiful meditation that I do with you. And in the meditation, I really help you to let go of and leave 2022 in the past. So again, really important to do so that we're not going into a new year with, you know, energy that we don't need to or anything that's not serving us. We want to let that go, release that and feel lighter and feel ready to move into 2023 with that clean slate, so to speak. But today I am going to be walking you through how you can do your New Year's Eve or New Year's manifesting ritual whenever you're doing this and how you can welcome in the most abundance in 2023 with this practice. But if you're new here to my channel, the welcome. My name is Emma. I'm an award-winning life coach and two times best-selling manifestation author, Law of Attraction YouTuber here on my channel. And I'm the host of the number one spirituality podcast on iTunes, Spiritual Queens Badass Podcast. And here on my channel, I cover all things law of attraction, manifestation, self-help and spirituality. So not only do I really hope you're going to enjoy this video, but the abundance of videos here on my channel over the last eight years. So why do we do New Year rituals? Well, you probably know about setting goals, you probably know about like setting intentions, doing a vision board, or putting your intentions out there for the new year. But doing it intentionally is so much more important. Not only do you get more rewards and benefits out of it, but everything becomes more intentional. So instead of like half ass manifesting, um, we're doing it with intention. We're doing it in a way that is showing up with intention, showing up with the energy that is required and showing up for ourselves too. This is definitely a form of self care during any form of ritual. But I find that New Year's rituals are always really magical and always really fun to do. And I think it's a nice way to end the year as well and celebrate your successes, reflect on what's happened so far in 2022 and get excited for the year ahead. Also, I just want to lovingly remind you as well that my free five day manifesting challenge is starting on the 1st of January until the 5th of January. This is completely free. This is my fifth year doing it and each year gets better and better. The results that we get, the results that I see in my own life as well from doing these rituals and practices with you, it is my well, it is my most fun challenge that I do every single year. I only do this once a year on a new year and it is such a beautiful way to walk into 2023 and manifest goodness. So um, I'll pop the link to that in the description so you can come along and sign up to that. So make sure to do this ritual and sign up to the free manifesting challenge because then you're gonna be super set up and guided by me on New Year and throughout the New Year as well. And it's always really fun. We've got 1,500 queens in there already, which is freaking awesome. So thank you all so much. And congratulations for saying yes to you this new year. So I look very forward to welcoming you hopefully in as well and doing the challenge together in January. 
So to do this ritual, first of all, I just wanna like triply check you've done your end of year review, you've done my previous videos, and you are feeling that clarity on what you want to step into 2023 with. This is why that meditation I've done has been created for you. So you might wanna do that before if you haven't done like any wrap up practices. Please at least do the end of year review if you haven't done that already, just get the questions and answer them because it will help this practice and your new year's ritual be so much more seamless, trust me. But if you have done that, then fantastic. And we will continue on with our new year's ritual. So first of all, I want you to really set the scene before we do this. So I want you to light a candle if you can, or if you feel called to get your favorite crystals, set the scene. I want you to get a glass of your favorite drink. Prosecco is welcomed, of course. But if you're like me and you have a non-alcoholic um, beverage to hand, then do do grab whatever you best like. Um, and also grab some snacks as well. Snacks are always good for this. I'm always someone who's like, hydrate yourself and bring snacks to these rituals because the more effort and energy that you can put into this ritual, the more you're going to get out of it. This is why I say, don't just sit down and half ass write a list. Be intentional, give me your time right now. Be here and present with this, not for me, but for your own manifesting ritual. Like I find whenever I'm intentional, I set the space, I really carve out the time to set, you know, set aside time in my day to do a ritual, to do a practice. I get so much more out of it because I'm being 10 times more intentional and I'm really giving my all, my energy because my desires are worth that. And I always say to people like, look like think about the desires that you really want to call in when they're here sitting down and doing a half an hour ritual a 20 minute ritual whatever um what's that worth the desire that you have in your life and i was like of course like i have my desire it was the best thing i did so don't just rush this don't just do a quick two minute practice or five minute practice you are worthy and deserving of the time that you have now with me in this video and carve that time out for yourself. You are worthy and deserving of your desires and think about it. Think about the investment, this investment of literally 20 minutes of your time, half an hour, whatever you wanna to dedicate to this. And from doing that, you're gonna manifest your desire. I think it's a very good investment and it's free, of course, it's just time, right? So do invest your time in this. Be really intentional, set the scene, light a candle, get a drink, get some snacks, aura spray, clear, reset the energy as well, whether that's through aura spray, whether that's through white sage, incense, obviously they're endangered white sage, so I always recommend local sage if you can. Palo Santo is also endangered, so I would recommend any more local um, or ethically sourced things for energy clearance, like aura sprays, crystals, um, and incense sticks. So do clear the space, set, set your vibes with your aura spray, um, and then you're ready to go into your practice, not just like rushed around like, where's my notebook, where's my pen, oh my God, the kids screaming, the dog's barking. Like you want to be intentional. So get your partner or whoever to look after the children for a while, but give the dog a yak, that's what I do. I give her a yak chew, she's busy for hours with it. And give yourself the time to do this, queen. You deserve it. So step one of my New Year's manifesting ritual then. So first of all, I want you to grab anything that you set intentions with in 2022. So right at the beginning of this year in January or if the January of the year you're watching this video as well, um, have a look at any goals lists, vision boards, anything you put in your manifestation box, anything that you did with me in last year's um, manifesting challenge. So anything that you use to set your desires for the year, pull these out and I want you to go through them and take off anything that's happened, obviously clear out anything that's not in alignment, have a good realignment of anything that you have. So obviously tick off your 2022 goals list, tick off anything from your vision board. Um, if you did the scripting challenge with us in the um, challenge last year, go through that, tick off what's happened. And then you wanna just energetically release that. If it's a vision board, you might wanna keep that obviously because you might be working towards other things. Um, but if it's a specific 2022 vision board, then you can absolutely release this with this other stuff. So I like to release them. I like to just give thanks and appreciation and gratitude. I reflect with them as well. So if anything didn't manifest, why do I feel like I still wanna carry that into 2023? And then I will burn or destroy the piece of paper 
and just lovingly release it so I can energetically release that and then move into 2023 with new intentions and new reset energy. So go through what you have set for this year, tick things off, celebrate, reflect with them and then release them first and foremost. So your first question that I really want you to sit with as well is what is your mantra for 2023? So I love picking a word or a mantra for the year ahead of what I would really love to embody or achieve that year. So what word do I really want to experience in 2023? What word or energy do I really want to embody? So I'd really encourage you, and that's why I say maybe do the end of year meditation on my channel before, so then you can really tune into that and tune into the energies of, okay, here's my reflection of this year, here's my reflection of my goals and what went well, etc. And now I know what I want to set as a word for 2023. So think about what word you would like to feel and embody this coming year. So pick a word and write this down. And of course I will put the journaling prompts that I'm gonna go through now in the description below as well. So you have them written down, you don't have to worry about writing them down quickly as I'm going through them. But of course, if you want to pause this video as I'm going through them and as we're going through each step, then absolutely do so and take your time with it. Your next question is, what would I like to feel or experience this year? So the reason why I've put this question is because it's great to write down the things we do want to achieve or manifest, but actually what do you want to feel or experience? Because manifestation is a very feeling process. It's about bringing it into the physical, bringing it into alignment and bringing it into the physical body. So when we can really feel and connect to our desires and emotions, we make it so much more tangible for our mind, for our subconscious, for ourselves to embody because we know how feelings feel. We know what joy feels like. We know what love feels like. We know what, you know, all the different emotions feel like. So when you can identify what you want to feel or experience this year, it takes manifestation to the next level. So write down the feelings that you would like to experience this year. Your next prompt is what would I like to manifest this year? So this is where it gets good. This is where we set those intentions, queens. So think about what you would like to call in, all the desires that you would like to call in in 2023. My goals list, I write a lot on there because that's what feels good. But even if you wanna write two things, even if you, even if you wanna write 10 things, if you wanna write 30 things, that is fine. Go with what feels good to you. This is your goals list, your manifestations, your 2023. So I do encourage you to do what feels good to you. So write down all the wonderful manifestations that you would like to call in this year. Next, we're gonna break those, that goals list or, you know, journaling prompts for now. You may choose to do a vision board with those goals. You may choose to do some scripting. So you can absolutely do some things off the back of that list you've just written of what you want to call in. But we just wanna write those things down first and foremost, so it's clear. I now want you to pick three of those and have them as your top priorities and ask yourself, what are my three top priorities or top manifestations? And which three would have the most impact on my other goals? So looking at those three priorities or they could be the biggest goals, they may not be, but which three, if you achieved them, would have the most impact on your other goals? Because with manifestation, you don't just wanna focus on like 30 different goals. That is gonna be so stressful for you and so overwhelming, right? The key to New Year's manifesting rituals and manifesting with the new year is not to over overwhelm yourself. So by picking those three priorities, you're essentially then saying, right, these are my focuses. And then by manifesting those three things, they're going to have a knock on effect on my other goals, which are going to help me to achieve them without even having to really think about it. So pick those three priorities, those top manifestations, and think about why they are going to have the most impact on your other goals. I then want you with each of those three priorities or goals that you have picked out to answer the question of what action can I take over the next three months to make my success inevitable? So what action can you take from January obviously to March to help make your success inevitable with those three priority manifestations? So think about what you can do from today, from January the 1st, whatever, to start to implement and bring those into your reality. What is in your control? What can you do to start putting those wheels in motion. So those are your journaling prompts. That's what I really want you to do for like the journaling part of this manifesting ritual. Obviously you've cleared your things out from last year first of all, you've now answered those questions. Then with all the things that you want to manifest in 2023, it's now completely up to you 
what you do with that. You might wanna do some scripting, you might wanna do a vision board, you might wanna do a visualization meditation, you might wanna do something a little bit more creative maybe to set those goals. Now, obviously, if you're joining me in my free manifesting challenge, we're gonna do all of this together. So you can just come along to that and I will help you and we'll do naturally those things anyway. But if you do want to turn those goals into a vision board for the year, if you do wanna turn them into a mind map, a goals list, whatever, then please feel free to do that. Whatever would feel good to you, do it in your ritual space, do it now if you can, obviously while you've got your candles and your snacks and your drinks and you've set this ritual up, um, do it now if you can so then obviously you're in that zone, you're in that space of manifestation and creativity and don't forget to do my end of year manifestation meditation either before this ritual or after this ritual so again you're sealing in the goodness from this practice. I will link that below for ease as well. So next once you have you know done any other creative manifesting that you want to do with your intentions for the year obviously we want to place this somewhere safe so you could write an action list of what you can do moving forwards to start implementing these manifestations you know January onwards not just in January because we don't want to overwhelm ourselves but what action steps you can take so those actions you wrote for those three top priorities what could you do this week what could you do over the next few weeks is there something that you could do now to help that is there something that you could have time to do over the next few weeks to really solidify that in and start taking that action. So sometimes it's quite nice to write an action kind of list moving forwards of like, okay, this is what I can focus on. This is what I can do moving forwards to really help solidify and bring into fruition what I have discovered in these prompts. So feel free to do that as well if you want to, um, but make sure to keep these somewhere safe. So whether that's in your manifestation box that you might have just decluttered and energy resetted for the year at the beginning, um, you might have a certain notebook or journal that you keep everything in, you might have a spiritual altar, but essentially we wanna keep these. We don't wanna burn them or anything because you wanna reflect on them at the end of the year and see what manifested. So do keep them safe, keep them somewhere sacred, and also keep them somewhere where you will reflect on them, whether that's quarterly, whether that's at six months, like you don't just wanna put that away for the whole year and then turn up um, December the 31st, 2023, be like, oh my God, yeah, I set that goal. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Like you don't wanna have that energy. So I really would suggest and recommend as well, setting a reminder on your phone or putting a reminder in your calendar, whether it's quarterly, whether it's six monthly, that you do just check in with those things because then you can actually use those prompts again of like, okay, what action can I take now for the next three months? What are my top three priorities now? Cause you might've manifested them already. So you can obviously switch that up throughout the year, but my manifesting challenge is gonna help to now implement these things moving forwards from January the 1st onwards and obviously do some really fun manifesting um, little exercises and practices together to manifest abundance straight away and raise your vibration. But I really hope you have enjoyed doing my new year manifesting ritual with me. Don't forget to do your end of year meditation as well. Um, and of course you can recap my um, do an end of year review video with me and winter solstice video as well if you want to do those. But I hope you've enjoyed all the new year content. I hope you've had a beautiful Christmas and have the most abundant new year, whatever you are up to. Celebrate in style, celebrate yourself and celebrate all your hard work this year because you have done amazing. I'm so proud of you and you have done all, you have manifested all these incredible things for yourself. You have shown up this year, you have done the work and your abundance that is in your life is a result of all the incredible work that you have done. So I really hope you've enjoyed this ritual. I hope you're having a lovely new year, whatever you are up to, and I will see you all in 2023, a brand new year. And I really hope to see you on January the 1st for my manifesting challenge as well. Um, everything that I've mentioned is in the description below, so you can go and click on there and find all the different things that I've mentioned. But thank you so much, gorgeous souls, for watching. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all. And don't forget you can join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things Law of Attraction and spirituality. I hope you have the most magical new year, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you all in my next video, which will be next week and in a new year. Lots of love.